What's going on guys? In this video, I'll be going over how to conquer the May SAT. But before that, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Lumist AP. Lumist AP is a Discord-based online learning community that helps students prepare for the upcoming AP exams. They support multiple subjects and they host a variety of different sessions, study guides, etc. So that way students can be fully prepared for whatever AP exam they're taking. But now they got something even better and that is the ultimate AP prep pass. This prep pass will let you have access to three hour cram streams, a one stop for all AP exam study guide, dedicated live office hours, and it will expose you to essential exam taking techniques. Usually this costs $60, but for a limited time only, it is only $9.99. And if you use the code RVPRIME50, then you get an additional $4.99 off. So if you want to conquer your AP exams, use a link in my description to join the Discord. And now, let's get into the video. So with the May SAT exam quickly approaching, I know you guys are probably stressed and you guys want to know how exactly can you conquer it. And now, I don't make many SAT videos, but I will make one a month, so this is the one that I'm making. And I want you guys to really digest it so that way when you do take your May SAT, you get a 1600 quick. So the first tip is to take practice exams every week. Now, the reason I say this is because you can do all the SAT test practice on Khan Academy, on Prep Scholar, on Kaplan, but nothing prepares you as much as an actual SAT exam that has been released in the past. Because these are real exam problems that have been administered to students, so you know exactly how the problems that you're going to most likely get are. Now, of course, the released exams are SAT practice test 1 to 10 from College Board, and these are pretty old. I think practice test 1 is like 7 years old, practice test 10 is like 3 years old, maybe 4 years old. So the problems are outdated, but the overall topics are the same. And by taking a practice exam every week, you are also able to monitor your progress to see where you are lacking in and where you are strong in. My second tip, and this may be a little harder to do, and that's to attain newly released SAT exams. Now, like I said, this is hard to do because usually a college board doesn't release SAT exams that have been just administered like one or two months prior because college board is kind of lazy. They like to reuse the problems on like future SAT exams. So sometimes the SAT that happened two months ago Maybe the exact same SAT you're going to take in three months. But if there's a legal possible way, there are ways to attain SAT exams. I know there's a bunch of websites that have SAT exams that have been kind of newly released, maybe five, six months old, which is fine. And you can use a website to access these exams and you can use these exams to further practice. Now, you may be like, whoa, 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 whoa. This may be some, you know, dicey stuff. I know College War says don't share answers. Well, that is true but this is kind of public information now because it's on a website that's like available to anyone using the internet. So at that point, it's College Board's job to take the site down, and if they don't take it down, then that's on them. And secondly, the fact that they're reusing exams and they're too lazy to make new exams, that's on them too. So maybe if they make new exams every time, then they won't have to face this problem. So if you find the website, use it to the max potential. And my last tip is to create your own SAT study guide as you study. So basically, as you study, write down important information, write down some notes, write down some tips and tricks you learn. So that way you're able to create a master study guide that you can review every day of studying or the day before the exam or the day of the exam. So that way everything is constantly fresh in your brain. Now I already have a SAT math study guide slash note guide. And if you want to get that, then check the link in my description below. But it basically has all the SAT math tips and tricks that you guys need to know to get an 800 on the SAT math section. So if you don't want to create your own note guide, just use mine. These are three quick tips that will literally make a 100 point to 200 point difference in your SAT score. So if you guys want to get that 1600, then follow these tips. And if you want to crush your AP exams, join Lumis AP's Discord. If you guys want 1v1 tutoring or you want to become a SAT tutor, then check out Smart Minds Tutoring through the link in my description below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, dude. Peace out, dude. Peace.